this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. And for today's video, I will show you how to create chapters for your YouTube videos. Okay, what are YouTube chapters? YouTube chapters are like breaks or sections, video sections, each with individual preview functions. So these chapters can help your viewers to give them more information and context by allowing them to watch or rewatch different sections of your video. Okay, and I will show you how to do it um, in a bit. So this is uh, one of my videos that doesn't have any video chapters in it, as you can see here. But, uh, but then I want to show you another uh, video on my channel. Okay, look at this. Okay. It has sections, as you can see here, in the uh, video progress bar, or this is um, as what uh, they call it video scrubber bar so as you can see here um, this video has sections or chapters on in the video progress bar and you can um, choose you have an option to choose which section you'd like to view first so a very good function for your YouTube videos it helps your audiences to have better navigation within the videos. This is very important. YouTube YouTube chapters or YouTube chapter markers are also visible on Google search. So when your viewer is using a mobile device, this helps them to skip chapters or choose uh, sections when uh, they are really on a go or want to skip some of the uh, chapters on your video and want to proceed with the with the uh, most important sections of your video they can do that so that is the uh, function you can get or that is the feature of the uh, youtube video chapters or video sections also this is really very good news because youtube chapters can help your videos uh, being displayed on so-called suggested clips on Google. So, so uh, that is very cool. Okay, so let's proceed. So I want to show you a video that doesn't have any video chapters on it. Look at this one. Look at the video progress bar or the, the video scrubber. It doesn't have any sections or chapters. But look at this video, look at the sectioning that you have on your video, okay, and I will show you how to do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you find this helpful and leave a nice comment down below if you're feeling generous. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification. If you want new updates on entrepreneurship, small business strategy, social media, automation for the business, and digital marketing. Okay, so I will show you how to create the video chapters on your YouTube. So we have this video and most probably if you have your created video you already have your script script with you so i have here my script i have here my script and we are going to uh, put some time codes on our video so you have your chapters you have your chapters already and all you have to do is go to your video and look for that chapters uh on the actual a video that you have uh, published on your YouTube account. So, for example, um, zero zero 
zero zero zero zero is for introduction. So we are going to put that time codes. So that those are timestamps, and you are going to grab that from your actual uh, video that is um, already live on YouTube. So that is my very first chapter, the introduction, and then my next video. So you're going to play your video and just grab the actual timestamps that you have on your video. Okay, uh, you have your chapters already, but you have to look for that particular chapters on your actual video. So after that, on 127, so this is 127. And okay. so this is 127 and my next chapter uh, or label for that timestamp so 127 is a time code and then the chapter for that 127 time code is six considerations or the introduction of uh, six considerations you need for your VA journey. So I'm going to put that in there. I have here my notepad and then you're going to play it again. And at 2.24 At 2.24, I'm sorry, it's 2.41 And at 2.41 Another chapter is introduced, so those are services you can offer. So at 220, 241, I'm going to put that time code or time stamp. At 241, uh, my next chapter for 241 is the services you can offer. And then at 5.43 At 5.43 At 5.43 Di ka pwede ko mobile phone if you have a an eight-hour eight work sa iyong client. We need to turn off the, uh, the volume first. Okay, um, we already have our uh, time stamps or time codes inside your YouTube. You're going to grab it and then watch your video, play it, and grab those different chapters as per their time stamps. Okay, uh, if you're already done with your, your timestamps that you have, you're going to put that in a notepad and then you are going to put that in your in the description section. Okay, so this is the description area or section of your user on the back end of the user video and you are going to put that in there and you are going to save that. Now we are going to see how it goes okay okay as you can see here the chapters are now live we have the introduction okay. we have the six considerations you need for your real journey we have the services you can offer the time codes is at 312 and then you have your equipment chapter at 555 i'm sorry at 5.43 and then you have your payment system at 6.06 and you have your resume chapter at 6.37 so those are just examples of chapters I created for this particular video and see how powerful it is if you uh, click on introduction or, or the chapters okay see how it changes and it presented on the um, side uh, right side corner of your video the um, the different chapters that you have for your video so the, we have here uh, same 
fine stumps and fine folds that we created in here. It's also in here so your viewer can grab each chapter of the video so they can just skip part of the uh, section or uh, sections of your video and just proceed to the uh, section that they really want to uh, view. For example, is the services you can offer. They can just skip introduction and proceed with equipment. They can just uh, skip services and just proceed with the resume chapter. So these are really uh, very powerful. So if uh, you click on the, the chapter uh, section in here, the chapter uh, breakdown will be presented on the right hand, uh, right side corner of your video. So this is really, really very very good function for your viewers um, so um, I suggest you, you create that because it uh, as per the YouTube algorithm it is very good because it is being displayed as so-called suggested clips on Google so it appears at top of SERPs for how to search terms with visual user intent. So this is really, really good. Okay. Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your rich assistant for today. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to avoid copyright claims in YouTube. Are you looking for a free stack for the junior you can use for your videos? But you are worried about a breach that can earn a strike and block your video from earning in YouTube. You will need HD video clips and free copyright background music, free to download and use anywhere. So I've rounded up a list of places you can get free stock videos to use in your next video for YouTube and other social media platforms. Also, I will show you how to get free copyright music you can use for the for your videos. And lastly, a strategy you can use to make sure your video doesn't violate copyright issue. Let's get started. I want to show you uh, a video in my YouTube, one of my YouTube account that has a copyright uh, issue. So as you can see here, just go to YouTube, uh, YouTube Studio and then go to videos and then there you can see the restrictions. One of the video that I have here is, um, has a copyright claim. Um, actually, this is um, published private on a private mode. And I will explain to you later why. So, here is a list of places you can get free stack videos and images to use for your social media content or for YouTube. Okay, number one on the list is Pixabay. Okay, Pixabay offers over 1.2 million images and videos all released under Creative Commons Zero License. 
meaning you don't have to get permission or give credit to the artist to use or modify the content. Second on the list is Pexels. Pexels began as a free photo site but has uh, since added a large library of free HD stack videos. Their collection is also under the ZC0 license so you can edit and use these videos for personal or commercial use. You don't have to ask permission from the artist or the original source. The third one is Videvo. Videvo offers free stack video footage you can use for your YouTube. Videos under the uh, Videvo standard license can be downloaded for free to use in any project. But those license under Creative Commons 3.0 can be used in any project but credit must be given to the original creator. So you have to uh, check the license uh, for each video. Life of Vids. Uh, this is this side is um, a collection of free stack videos loops you can use for your uh, video media project. To download a high resolution version of any video on the site. Click on the Vimeo logo in the bottom right and bottom right hand corner of the PD player and you'll see the download button in there. Vids Play On a weekly basis, uh, they are updating their website with new videos, which makes it a great source for keeping your YouTube content fresh. Video blocks or story blocks. Video blocks has a huge collection of aerial footages, lime tabs videos, and standard B roll clips of various environments and situations. There are websites that require you to sign up or register to their website for you to download their free copyright videos. With AZ, it has a wide variety of high quality video clips to choose from in both HD and 4K resolution. You can use it for personal and commercial use. Stack footage for free. Or therefore.com. With new videos added every day, Stack Footage for Free has a wide range of video footage you can use on your social networks or in YouTube. For stock footage for free or their full, you need to sign up uh, with their website for you to have access to the entire collection of profession professional stock videos. Split Shire has a wide collection of drone footage of beautiful author scenes. You can click the videos here, check the license information and grab one that you can use for your video project. You can use these uh, videos for personal and commercial use. Just check the license information first. Number 10 on the list is Cover. It is uh, designed to provide covers for website headlines. It also provides users with beautiful stack video footage available for download. Just check the license information for each video. And lastly, you can use YouTube to get videos free copyright uh, to be used for your video project. I'll show you how. So for example, you are looking for sun uh, video footage. And then click the filter option in here. You need to check through 
uh, in important features for this. One is for you to get HD or high definition videos and the other one is Creative Commons. So these are two filters you need to choose or uh, these are the filters you need for you to get a free copyright videos that are HD uh, that are high definition for your video project. Okay, let's go back to our list. Uh, number one is done. Now we're going to do number two. Okay, YouTube also provide uh, free music, and not only that, it also provide um, sound effects for your video project. So just uh, type youtube.com slash audio library dash um, music into your web browser and uh, you have to sign in into your YouTube account and then you can have access to their audio library uh, where few mu free music background music and sound effects are available so you can see here all of these are for free you can just grab it download it and use it for your next video project Okay, last on the list is a strategy that I use to make sure that your video doesn't violate copyright issue. I mean, there are instances wherein you upload your video, you think, I mean, you thought that uh, everything is okay, that you will be earning from that video that will be monetized, and then you go back after maybe four days and you will find out that your video has a copyright claim okay i am now on my dashboard youtube studio and then i am on my videos dashboard so here you can see the restriction information in here i have one um video that has a copyright claim with which is this one the reason I did not delete this because I want to show you things. So this a video that was uploaded May 17, 2020 is the same as this video. So what I did is I upload the video on private mode. So uh, YouTube has a uh, automatic system, a bot, a bot uh, system. Um, with that when you upload your video it automatically scrapes information that if you use a copyrighted uh, videos music uh, for that particular video so that is automatic so i suggest that if you are creating your video and when you're and when you are done with it and you have decided to upload it you uh, you upload it upload it as private and then from there you can see if you have restrictions on your video okay so you can easily identify that you have a copyright claim for it if you upload it and publish it uh immediately and then not realizing that you have a restrictions uh, over that video and then you go back after four days and it has views and then only to find out that you are not earning from it that is a little frustrating uh, i suggest you upload it as a private on a private mode and then after that wait for uh, a few hours and then go back to see if um your video has issue so there will not be any view that will be wasted uh for your youtube videos also if you need to also if you need to edit out the part where you have the restriction that will be easier you do, you will never have a reputation that you uh publish your video and then retract it eventually dispute you have to trim out that segment to dispute the copyright claims when you have a copyright claim over your video ad revenue will go to the copyright owner so you will not earn from it good luck on your next video project if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification if you want new updates on entrepreneurship small business strategy social media 
automation for your business and digital marketing. Oh, also please leave this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and leave a nice comment down below if you're feeling generous. Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, ang ating pag-uusapan ay how to create or to start your YouTube channel. Paano ba magsimula ng inyong YouTube channel? Simulan na natin. Quick setup ng inyong YouTube channel. Channel art. Profile picture. Description. YouTube tags, settings ng inyong YouTube channel, branding, propel, 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 propel. Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez. Magsisimula tayo sa pagkala ng YouTube channel. Kailangan mong gumawa ng isang Gmail account o Google account. I-click mo lang itong uh, blue button sign in na ito. At dahil magsisimula ka pa lang o magkikreate ka pa lang ng account, i-click ang um, create account. Dalawa ang pwede mo i-create uh, for myself at business account. For now, ang piliin natin ay yung for myself. Okay, first name, Kila Spira. Lagay ang inyong first name, Kila Spira Fernandez. So, ano yung prepared mo na username, Kila Spira at gmail.com. Gawin na natin yung ating uh, kulaspira. Makuha na. So, lagyan lang natin ng 1 sa dulo. Kuha na rin. So, 2. Okay. Lagyan ng password. Uh, Mag-create ng password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Confirm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Lagay yung phone number pero optional naman yan. Uh, Ginagamit ito sa verification uh, or security process ng iyong email. So for now, um, i-leave mo na natin yan as uh, blank. Recovery email optional, pero ito pwede nyo kayo maglagay ng ibang email address bilang pakte ng security ng iyong email. So, ang iyong birthday, magpalagay na natin. For example, it's January 1, 1971. Gender is male. Okay. And then next, i-click natin ito, ito I agree. At created na ang iyong Gmail or Google account. Okay. I-click natin ito. At makikita mo na iyong YouTube. Okay. Meron ka ng YouTube account. Sign in. Gamit ang, ang, ang username at password. I-click ang YouTube apps. Ito yun. At i-click ang YouTube icon. Ito na ang iyong YouTube account. Okay. Simulan na natin ang pag-set up ng iyong YouTube account. Meron na tayong YouTube account. Ngayon ay isa-set up naman natin ang ating YouTube account. I-click ang inyong, um, click ang inyong profile icon. At makikita mo ang iyong account dito. Nandito yung iba't ibang dashboard 
o iba't ibang narito ang dashboard ng aming Google account. Magkikreate na tayo ng channel. Okay? Create the channel. Get started. At pipiliin natin ay itong plus Kira Fernandez. Meron kang dalawang option. Either gagamitin mo ang iyong pangalan o gagamit ka ng brand. For now, ang ating pipiliin ay using your name. So, select. Dito mag-upload ko yung picture. Mo. ito yung pinatawag na yung profile picture. Galing sa iyong galing sa iyong machine ay sa iyong PC mag-upload ka ng iyong image. So, for now okay at dito ilalagay mo ang description ng iyong YouTube channel. this channel or, or um ito ba mo ito ano ang magiging beneficyo ng yung viewers sa yung channel description ay connected sa pagkala ng mga videos ng mga tutorial videos na magtuturo kung paano maging isang virtual assistant. Depende sa market o sa niche na gusto mong pasukin, kailangan um, meron ka ng objective kung para saan ang yung channel. Dito, ilagay mo yung niche mo at maglagay ko yung keywords tulad ng virtual assistant training para ang um, tutorial videos na tuturo kung paano ng isang virtual assistant iba-ibang virtual assistant training let's check it out dito ibigay mo ang iyong social media handles or social media account tulad ng Facebook, Twitter, at Instagram. Kung meron ka din website, ilagay mo ang website link ko dito. Save and continue. Pwede ka is dedicated, is committed to click Eighteen tutorial videos or video tutorials it's on virtual assistant training. Let's check it out. Save and continue. Ngayon, meron na tayong bagong uh, ating YouTube channel o customize na natin ang ating channel. Dito, gagawin mo layout ng iyong channel. So, ito yung iyong channel. Lagay ko ng short video para sa mga hindi nagsubscribe. Hindi ka nagsusubscribe. So, pwede ka mag-create ng video inviting them to subscribe to your channel. Dito naman sa future, featured video for returning subscribers, ito naman pwede ka dito mag-create ng video para sa iyong mga subscribers o para sa iyong mga followers or fans. Ito yung profile 
าติดเชยในอินเทอร์เน็ตแล้วเป็นคนนี้เนี่ยแอปก็จะมาอยู่บาร์เนอร์อินเนชอีโตตูตูรูอันคุกคนยังก็มาแล้วบาร์เนอร์อินเนชนังมาบลิสอัตตาเบลคอมเมนต์ต่างๆแบบตัวที่คุณตาลงในบานเนอร์อิมเมจตัวที่เราคุยกันมาเนี่ยบานเนอร์อิมเมจกันไปกันไปไม่ได้เลยแต่ที่ที่เราคุยกันมาเนี่ยเราคุยกันวิดีโอนักเรียนรู้อีกคนที่ตาลงมาวันนั้นคันดาเขาเพื่อนเราเนี่ยลงในสังชีวิตเขาตาลงมาคุยกันในสังคันวะ Account para magamit siya sa graphic designs nila. So dito, lagay niyo lang YouTube channel art. Okay. Yan na yung iba't ibang template yan na YouTube channel art na pwede niyo gamitin. Pero kung nga, pwede niyo naman kayo mag-start o mag-create ng blank YouTube channel art at makapag-design kayo ng sarili niyo. So, for now, pipili mo na tayo ng isang template. For example, mm -hmm. For example, ang napili natin ay For now, ito. So, lagay mo lang yung inyong pangalan. So, I guess, tama na ito. So, for sure lang, gawin lang na ito. Okay. I-download natin ulit. Balik tayo sa ating YouTube. Banner. Banner image. Upload. Hanapin ulit. Okay, ito yun. Mas maliit yung name. Okay, okay na po. So, viewable on all devices. Mobile. At um, mga mobile devices ito. At kahit ano mga devices ang gamit, kita ang section na ito. So, this one is viewable on desktop. At ito naman ay for TV. Okay, we're done. I-click lang yung done. At meron ka ng banner image. So, ito namang video watermark. Dapat 150 by 150 pixels ang inyong image. Ito yung makikita mo dito. Okay. Okay. Ito yun. Mas maganda ilagay mo kulay red or kulay green or ano mo. Um, makatawag attention na color. At tandaan lang na dapat 150 by 150 ang pixel size ng inyong image. I-upload nyo lamang ganyan. So, for example, na gumawa na ako. Ito. Okay. So, yun yung makikita mo dito. Okay. Yan, yan, yan. So, sa video mo, parang to play, mag-a-appear yan. Parang click to action sa mga viewers na mag-subscribe sa inyo dito na kanya. Ito pa yung ibang mga settings na pwede mong gawin sa iyong YouTube account. I-click ang settings. I-click ang channel at dito tayo mag-e-edit uh, o mag-a-add ng mga information. Ito yung tinatawag na YouTube tags or YouTube keywords. Dapat strategic or um, ni-research ang mga keywords na ilalagay nyo dito. Pero tingin ko, dapat mag-create ako ng separate video for it. So, for now, ilalagay mo lang yung mga tags or keywords na tingin mo related sa mga ginagawa mong video. For example, depende sa iyong um, setup 
uh, kasi ganun yung algorithm ng uh, YouTube uh, dapat kilala ka niya sa particular keyword sa mga particular keywords so dapat yung channel mo associated siya sa mga keywords na related sa mga ginagawa mong videos eto naman yung country of precedence so kung galing ka from Philippines lagay mo na lang yung Philippines Okay, then save. Munta ulit tayo sa settings or bumalik ulit tayo. Dito sa channel, itong tatlong ito, uh, titingnan natin. Doon naman tayo sa advanced settings. Okay. Ito, yung uh, video mo, kung sila ay for kids or hindi. So, for now, ang gagawin ko na lang is for every upload, titingnan mo na lang yung settings na pwede mong gawin. So, hindi ito naka-automatic setting. Lagay mo na lang dito for now yung I want to review this setting for every video or yung no, this uh, channel are not, uh, uh, this channel uh, as not made for kids. So, hindi, pwede rin isetting yan. Okay? Medyo komplikado kasi yung um, this channel uh, as made for kids. Medyo, komplika medyo complicated yan. So, for now, iset up natin na lang using this two um, setting. So, ito na lang muna for now. At ito yung kung gusto mong ilagay yung number ng subscribers mo sa iyong YouTube uh, channel. Ganito yon. Wait. So, sa YouTube, sa iyong channel, ayan, ito yon. So, titing, yan, uh, meron kang choice kung gusto mong i-disable or enable mo yung number of subscribers mo na makikita sa iyong YouTube account. Okay? Yan, yan. So, i-uncheck mo lang or i-check mo lang kung ano man yung preference mo. Okay? Dito naman, pwede mong palitan yung iyong uh, YouTube channel. For example, itong example na account natin ay valing-valing yung kanyang name. So, pwede mo yan palitan um, via this option. So, i-click mo lang yung Google account. Ito. At pwede mo nang pang palitan yung pangalan ng iyong YouTube channel. Dito. Okay. Palitan mo dyan at i-save mo. So, for now, yan yung ating pangalan. Hey. Tuwing mag-upload ka, anong settings ang uh, um, magiging automatic para sa iyong uh, uploads? So, standard YouTube license, huwag mong ilalagay yung common creatives. Kung hindi, kahit sino pwedeng gamitin yung iyong YouTube, uh, yung, yung video for any purpose. So, meron silang karapatang gamitin yung iyong video kung ano man purpose yung kanilang gagamitin. So, huwag niyong gamitin yung creative commons. Always use standard YouTube license. Ibig sabihin ito, sayong sayo lang yung video at may karapatang kang... Um, sa copyright at may karapatan ka at kung gamitin man to ng iba meron kang ka, uh, karapatan dun sa copyright na yun at pwede ka mag-contest okay, video language so Filipino kung Filipino man or English kung English man category kung ano man yung category ito ay, ay magiging um, auto populate nagiging automatic yung uh, pag populate ng mga information nito para sa inyong mga uploads okay title and uh, description language ilagay niyo lang diyan yung uh, comment visibility kung allowed yung comments or uh, gusto mo pang i-hold potentially in appropriate comments for review. Ito yung i-review mo pa yung mga comments or totally i-disable mo yung comments. Okay. 
So, yan yung mga settings dito sa advanced settings na pwede mong gawin. Ito naman, yung paglagay ulit ng tags na magiging automatic, uh, uh, automatically magpopopulate yan sa iyong um, upload. So, lagay mo lang yung mga keywords na gusto mong ilagay dito. Dito naman sa description, pwede mo lagay yung magiging automatic din yung pagpopulate yan, yung um, hashtags na pwede mong ilagay. Or depende sa gusto mo ilagay, ilagay mo yung iyong um, video, video credit, uh, I mean sound credit or background music credit. Halimbawa, meron kang regular na ginagamit na background music. So, pwede mo ilagay dyan para mag-auto-populate na yan for, uh, your, uh, para sa easy upload na gagawin mo. Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. In this video, I will show you how to fix in order to select an item from your online storage, please sign in issue. This is the pop-up you're getting if you're trying to change your channel art in YouTube. So, if you are customizing your YouTube uh, channel art, and you kept on uh, receiving this pop-up. Um, it is asking you to log into Google account to upload and set an image or asking you to giving you instruction uh, in order to select an image from your online storage please sign in uh, this is how to fix it let's get started I did an in-depth research and uh, I came to know that this problem is not only happening with YouTubers, it is also happening for many bloggers using Blogspot. So if you saw the above message in your browser, that means uh, you can't customize your channel art. This is not a major issue, but this issue can be easily fixed. I'm going to show you uh, how to fix it easily. Uh, first, you can use incognito. Number two, you can clear your cache. And then number three, um, a little tweak in your cookies. So, go to your Chrome settings. Okay. Go at the very bottom. And then click advance we're looking for okay okay go to site settings cookies and site data and look for block third-party cookies and we're going to disable it <laughs> we're done now let's see how it goes go back to your channel and then we're going to tweak or add channel art now you can upload a photo from your computer if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification. If you want to update on entrepreneurship, small business strategy, social media automation for your business, and digital marketing, and uh, virtual assistant uh, tutorials. Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today, and welcome back to my channel. 
And for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang YouTube Tags. Ano ba ang YouTube Tags? Bakit importante ang YouTube Tags? Paano maghanap ng YouTube Tags? At paano ito lagay sa inyong YouTube video? Again, hindi pa naman ako expert. Every day, marami pa rin ako natututunan tungkol sa YouTube. YouTube is a new thing for me as a vlogger. So, sabay-sabay natin tuklasin ang mga option na ito. Alam natin na si YouTube ay isa sa pinakamalaking video sharing platform all over the world. At katulad ni Google, isa rin siyang search engine kung saan maglalagay ka ng mga phrases or words sa kanya search bar at hahanapin niya ang related video para, para doon. At the end of the day, Si YouTube ay maasas na natawag na bot system kung saan binabasa niya itong mga tags na ito para maisuggest ang karapat-dapat na video for it. So, ang tags ay importante para maunawaan ni YouTube kung tungkol saan ang video na in-upload mo. So, kailangan maglagay ka ng mga related keywords or tags sa iyong YouTube Bilang paraan para mabasa ni YouTube kung saan, kung para saan ang iyong video. So, napaka-importante ng YouTube tags para sa iyong video. Pinapahintulutan nito si YouTube na basahin ang video mo na naaayon sa ginamit mong tags. So, next time nagagawa ka ng video, kailangan i-research mo muna o do a quick research on kung ano yung mga tags na maaari mong gamitin para sa video mo. Maghahanap na tayo ng YouTube tags. So, for example, ang video mo ay tungkol sa Okay, punta lang tayo sa YouTube. Marami pa na paghahanap ng YouTube tags. Maaari kang gumamit ng mga online free tool YouTube generate YouTube tag generator tulad dito. Tags YouTube. Ito ay free tool na pwede mong gamitin para makapaghanap ka ng mga YouTube tags. So, ipaface mo lang dito, halimbawa, ang iyong um, keyword, halimbawa ay acne solution. At bibigyan ka na niya ng idea. Ito yung tinatawag na general term o yung iyong magiging um, keyword focus or focus keyword. Acne solution. Okay? Yan yung binibigay o sinasensya sa iyo ng online tool na to na pwede mong gamitan bilang tags sa iyong YouTube. Another platform na ginagamit ko ay yung Ahrefs. So, eto mas precise kasi this is a paid tool na meron akong access uh, na kung saan nagre-research ako ng mga tags gamit itong tool na ito. So, ilalagay ko namang sa Keyword Explorer, YouTube, halimbawa, Philippines ang iyong target location para sa uh, video na yon ilalagay mo yung location kung United States or Australia, ilalagay mo lamang dyan yung location at ilalagay mo yung iyong keyword seed dito sa area na ito at bibigyan ka na ng idea kung ano-anong mga keywords or tags ang pwede mong gamitin. So, ayan. Dito tayo sa place match at ayan, makikita mo na. Dito naman yung tinatawag na search volume niya. So, lagyan natin muna yung acne. Okay. Yan yung mga search value, volume value niya. Halimbawa, all over the world, ang search value niya o yung mga tao na si search ay 72,000. Okay? Ito naman yung average monthly number of searches para sa isang keyword. Okay? 
Yan yung mga sinasuggest ng um, tool na ito na pwede mong gamitin para sa iyong YouTube tags. Another strategy to get tags ay halimbawa, ang iyong target ay for acne. Kukuha ka lamang ng isang video at i-hijack natin yung kanya mga keywords. Papaano gawin ito? So, i-open mo lang yung video na yon na sinearch mo na related sa video na gagawin mo at ikaw ay mag-view. So, dito lamang, pataas, right-click, at mag-view page source ka. Para mahanap ko dyan yung kanyang kinamit, ikaw ay mag-control F at ilagay mo na yung keywords. Ayan. So, Kapag na-target na yung keywords na yan, ibig sabihin, itong mga word na ito, yan, yung mga word na yan, ang ginamit ng, ng uh, video na ito, the tag sa kanyang YouTube video. So, kung related ito sa gagawin mong video, hina-hijack mo yung kanyang mga keywords o yung kanyang mga tags na ginamit para sa video na ito. Okay? Yan yung paraan ng paggamit ng YouTube Tags. Ngayon naman, okay, yan. Babalikan natin. Maraming paraan, maraming solusyon, at maraming mga online tools na pwede mong gamitin. Ito pa. Okay. Itong keyword tool na ito, pwede mo rin gamitin para magkapaghanap ka ng keyword na magagamit mo para sa iyong gagawing video. So, before you do a video, I suggest you do a quick research para sa YouTube tags. At kapag ka nakuha mo na yung mga, mga words na yan, ilagay mo yan sa isang notepad at i-prepare mo yan para sa paglatag sa iyong YouTube video. Okay? So, itong tool na ito, ilalagay ko lahat ito mga on free online tool na ito na pwede mo mag magamit para sa pag-research ng iyong YouTube tags. Okay? Okay, lagay na lang natin dito para hindi ko lang kapitan. Dito naman ay H Ahrefs. Ang Ahrefs ay ang nagbibigay ng 7 days free trial. So, kung gusto nyo gamitin yan, pwede rin. Kaya lang, you, you are only allowed to use it for 7 days for free. At pagkatapos nun ay, babayaran na siya. Okay. Tandaan sa mundo ng um, isang search engine, meron tinatawag na metadata. At importante ito sa kanila, sa mga search engine na ito, na meron itong metadata, ang information na upload mo, o anything, uh, article, blogs, or para sa particular na pinag-uusapan natin, YouTube videos, dapat meron yung metadata para mabasa yan yung search engine kung ano ang context ng iyong in-upload. Ngayon naman, tapos natin maghanap ng YouTube Tags, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano ilagay yan sa iyong video. So, ito, assuming na i-upload mo na yung iyong video at na ilagay mo na yung iyong description. Ngayon naman, tuturuan ko kayo paano maglagay ng um, YouTube Tags. So, kung ano man yung na-research mo, uh, sinasabi na yung dapat meron ka ng focus keyword. So, tulad dito, inilagay ko yung aking focus keyword as YouTube tags. At yung mga susunod na tags na ilalagay mo, ah, ang suggestion at ang importante is dapat pumili ka ng mga 2 to 3 keywords or 2 to 3 words na tags para sa iyong YouTube tags. So, magsisimula ka sa iyong focus keyword or focus tag at maglalagay ka ng related, highly related tags para sa iyong uh, focus uh focus tag. So, ayan. So, maglalagay ka rin dyan how to put tags on video, YouTube tags to get views, how to add tags on YouTube, 
at etc. Sinasabi rin dun sa bagong research na ginawa ko na huwag ka rin makalimot na maglagay ng mga broad words or broad tags na i-insert mo dyan sa loob. Ito rin ay importante para sa yung keyword, oh, I mean your tag strategies para sa yung YouTube video. So, hindi lamang focus keyword, highly uh, related keywords, o yung tinatawag na correlation niya sa yung focus keywords. So, kung mapapansin mo, YouTube tags, meron na naman dito salitang YouTube at tags, tags at YouTube, YouTube tags, tags at YouTube, YouTube tags. So, yung highly, um, yung correlation niya sa yung focus keyword dapat nandiyan. At, huwag di makalimutan yung tinatawag na broad uh, words na ilalagay mo inside your uh, inside your uh, tags. Dito sa area na ito, so, pag na-upload mo na yung video mo, dito sa tags area, okay, dito, eto yung um, dashboard kung saan nakapag-upload ka na ng video. Dito naman yung paglagay ng thumbnail, description, at title. Mag-scroll down ka lang pababa. Okay? Okay. Mag-scroll down ka lang pababa at hanapin. Tiba. Initially, ganito kasi ang magiging itsura niyan. Hindi mo makikita yung tags. Kailangan i-click mo itong show more. Tandaan ha, initially hindi mo yan makikita so baka magtaka ka kung bakit nasa na yung tags ang ko ilalagay ito. So initially hindi yan visible. So kapag na-upload mo na yung video mo, bababa ka lang, scroll down. So ang ang ang, ang ayos ay mauuna mo makikita ang thumbnail, playlist, audience, age restriction at itong show more. I-click mo lang yung show more. At dyan, dito sa tags area, ilalagay mo na yung mga na-research mo na tags. At iyon na itong isa-save. Recently, nagkaroon ako ng problema kung saan nakapag-upload na ako ng na mga tags at gusto kong palitan uh, dahil minomonitor ko rin kung paano ma-improve yung mga user videos gusto kong palitan or um, i-delete yung mga ibang videos at hindi ako makapag-edit edit via uh, aking PC. Uh, para ma-troubleshoot mo ito, at hindi ka na allow to add or to edit or to delete some tags using PC, ang gagawin mo lamang ay pumunta ka sa mobile kailangan meron ka na doong YouTube Studio apps at doon mo i-upload. At kapag ka meron ka ng YouTube Studio app, doon ka mag-tweak o mag-e-edit ng yung tag. Just na sa tina-experience ko kasi yan na hindi ko na uh, pwedeng i-edit or i-tweak or mag-add or mag-delete ng mga tags use dito sa aking PC. So, to troubleshoot that, kailangan meron kang YouTube Studio app sa inyong mobile phone at doon ka mag-edit at mag-tweak ng iyong fans. Hey, this is Heidi Fernandez, your virtual assistant for today. In this video, I will show you how to fix in order to select an item from your online storage, please sign in issue. This is the pop-up you're getting if you're trying to change your channel art in YouTube. So, if you are customizing your YouTube uh, channel art, you kept on uh, receiving this pop-up. Um, it is asking you to log into Google account to upload and set an image or asking you to giving you instruction uh, in order to select an image from your online storage please sign in uh, this is how to fix it let's get started
I did an in-depth research and uh, I came to know that this problem is not only happening with YouTubers, it is also happening for many bloggers using Blogspot. So, if you saw the above message in your browser, that means uh, you can customize your channel art. This is not a major issue, but this issue can be easily fixed. I'm going to show you uh, how to fix it easily. Uh, first, you can use incognito. Number two, you can clear your cache. And then number three, um, a little tweak in your cookies. So go to your Chrome settings. Okay. Go at the very bottom and then click advance. We're looking for Okay. Go to site settings, cookies and site data, and look for block third party cookies. And we're going to disable it. <laughs> we're done. Now let's see how it goes. Go back to your channel and then we're going to tweak or add channel art. Now you can upload a photo from your computer. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification. If you want to update on entrepreneurship, small business strategy, social media, automation for your business, and digital marketing, and uh, virtual assistant uh, tutorials.